Hey, good morning, y'all. It's uh, Thursday morning, and it's cold, cold, cold. Y'all, these are spicy onion rings. They are so good. Just chilling with mom, having dinner with her. We're at the bowling alley on base. Yum. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning. Vlogmas. I think this is going to be Vlogmas day 567. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm so glad we made it to Friday. And, of course, if y'all are here in North Carolina, well, I shouldn't just say North Carolina, several several states. Um, supposed to be getting some wintry weather. And just depending on where that line is, you know how that line, if it shifts, I think Saturday night going into Sunday morning, we're supposed to get, it could be just heavy, cold rain. Or if that line shift, it could be heavy mixture of ice and snow. Or it could be all snow. So, where I live, we sit down. My county sits down almost, if you look at a 3D um, aerial view of the way my city and county sits down, it sits down in a bowl on the 3D image. Um, really neat. I like our, I love our meteorologists and I learned that years ago, but they did a 3D of, that's why a lot of times, you know, when the winter weather comes, it may miss us all together. It may go over us or by us, but we don't get anything because we sit down in a pocket. So it's like the wind blows it completely over us. But anyway, um, of course, you know, we're in the country, honey. So everybody's already done been to the grocery store. And I had already gone to the grocery store and picked up some things. I may pick up a, a, a more some more things tonight when I get off work. Uh, Mr. Silver Fox is coming over tonight. And, um, but anyway, um, me and my brother, we're going to be in a soup off competition. Just in case we don't get out to mama's house for Sunday dinner. Because if, you know, the weather pattern does what it does, we'll all be stuck in for a couple of days. At least on Monday, if it's going to do what it says it's going to do. But anyway, um, I told him I'm going to fix a, he said he may fix chili. I told him I'm probably going to fix, I've been craving some ground beef. You know how you can brown some ground beef, put onion, garlic, and then a couple of cans of cream of beef or cream of mushroom soup. And then some more seasoning and then some chunky potatoes. And put everything in one pot and, and it's like a, a stew more so. Instead of using the stew beef, you just use ground, use some ground beef and it's so good. It almost reminds you of a beef, uh, a ground beef in potato casserole but you're gonna it's just it's it's more loose and uh i've just been craving that with me some um garlic butter toast yum and uh i bought me some broccoli and had me some steamed broccoli on the side and uh and Mr. Silver Fox, he's good with that because uh, he's a country man. What you sit in front of him, he eats. Um, and when I say he country, he country. He's so easy to cook for. I tell you what, the Lord know what he's doing. Because, I mean, I can cook him a pot of pinto beans. Fresh pinto beans, you know, you the dry ones you get out of the bag. I, I, I make them for put them in a crock and that since he got me that pressure crock pot are you kidding me y'all 
that pressure crop part is the biz nice and um you just put everything in there put them pinto wash them soak them a little bit and then put them in that crock pot and throw throw a piece of ham hock in there or turkey neck or drum turkey nut drumstick are you kidding me and and then bake him a pan of jiffy cornbread he loves jiffy cornbread make a little sweet drizzle butter over it wrap it up honey he eats that he'll eat off that for a couple of days honey he love that kind of stuff that's that's what he like he like that kind of eating and don't and don't mess around and make me slice up some sweet potatoes for him cook them in the pan with a little sugar butter cinnamon nutmeg and then cook about five strips of bacon and after they cook cut that bacon up and let it crumble on top of them sweet potatoes and hand it to them in a in a container Man, you would have thought you would think you would think I was Rachel Ray, but it's Lady Tay. I'm Lady Tay. You understand? <laughs> but anyway, simple, simple to cook for him. I'm trying to get him to do venture out and do different cuisines. Like he's never had sushi. We need to do a sushi. Um. The only type of Mexican food he's had is from Taco Bell. You know, I don't even think I have made top, uh, Mexican food for him. That's what I need to do. Make him some tacos and burritos. Because I love to make tacos every once in a while. Uh, homemade. Huh, I might have to do the Get one of those big packs of ground, fresh ground beef. Do half of it for the soup and then the other half do me some tacos. That's what I might do. Some tacos. And, you know, tacos. He can't do a whole lot of spiciness. He's much older, so he can't, he can't have all that spicy, spicy. Anyway, y'all, we're just jaw jacking. We haven't talked in a long time. And uh, I haven't done a live show in a while. I need to do another live show. It's just that sometimes I get up late and sometimes doing live shows in the morning. I be jaw jacking. I look up and it's on the precipice of me to be gone. And I don't like to rush when you're on the highway. Because, see, you know, that's when you make... Uh, you're rushing, trying, you know, not being, trying not to be late, and you mess around, and uh, you can make the wrong move, make a wrong maneuver, and, and see the highway that I travel on. Um, it's under construction. They're building a bypass, so they got cops sitting everywhere, waiting on, just waiting on you to make the wrong way wrong move waiting on you not to stop completely at the stop sign y'all know but i tell the lord thank you i don't play with it i i i get on the highway and whatever the speed limit is i set my cruise if i can and uh keep it moving because honey them tickets and they post it too, especially if you're going through them work zones. Automatic $250 fine if you get busted speeding through them work zones. And rightfully so. You know, people love ones out there working. And you barreling through there and they trying to conduct business. And they can hurt, put you in harm's way as a highway worker, you know. So, you know, you got to think about that. But some people be in a hurry to just die. And I don't mean to say that ugly. But they do. And you know what uh, statistics show? I like uh, learning different statistic things on what happened. And they say people who be speeding, they be behind you. Just speeding. Speed demon. 
and the most time you will save. Check this out now. The most time you will save is anywhere between two and a half to three minutes. And I've seen people do unsafe driving and they will pass me and be flying. And then when I finally catch up to them in the next city, I'm right behind them at the stoplight. <laughs> and they did all that, you know, anyway. That's just behavior. People think they're going to get ahead, you know. And in some cases, they might, you know, they, they might get there one or two minutes before punching in time and all that. And I understand people trying to do the best they can to make it in to work on time. But sometimes we have to think, is it worth rushing and doing all that just to save a couple of minutes? The key to that is just get up a couple of minutes early. And I know we all, we all run late sometimes, running behind the eight ball. But, uh, yeah. But, y'all, um, what am I going to wear today? I don't even know what I'm going to wear. I need to do better about that. I get up first thing in the morning. I used to be good about, um, laying out what I was going to wear for work the next day. But, y'all... I done got so far away from doing that. It's just like whatever I feel. You know, I have to have a feeling of what I want to wear. Are y'all like that too? Now, my mom, I used to watch my mom. She used to plan when she was working. And, of course, when she was working, I was still living at home. And then, of course, I moved out at 19. I moved out of my mama's new house at 19. Uh, but anyway, um, just growing up when I was a little girl, you know, teenager, if you will, she used to put her clothes out. And I and I just picked that up, but I done got away from that. I, I really need to get back to that because it just helps you stay so much time. You be standing there at the closet. And it's like, are you kidding me? You'll waste 15 minutes looking to figure out what you're going to wear. And it's just, you know, so I really need to do better with that. I really do. Let me put some black up, some black up here. Make it a little bit darker. I used navy blue and then I got a little black. I decided I'm going to just go with the pencil for the liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm going to just, these LA color lip i mean these la color uh, eyeliner pencils they work just as good and they don't bleed they don't run and that's one thing that uh, i like like when you blink you don't see that black line that comes up there from your from your eyeshadow or from your not eyeshadow but from your liquid eyeliner or pencil i hate that so i'm pleased with just using the pencil for right now until i find a liquid eyeliner that does not smudge but some of them say they won't smudge and won't leave that crease but if you're a person that get a little moist on your eyes because you might get hot or something that mess is going to smudge But anyway, that's been my experience. So I said, let me just go on and do L cheap, cheap, cheap. One dollar. Get two of them for a dollar. All right, let's get my pink blush going, y'all. But no, I just wanted to pop in and ask y'all to stay safe. And um, again, use precaution. Use your common sense. Like I said, I'm going to go and grab some stuff. And I imagine a lot of stuff is already gone because they've been showing that on the news and the people done already done stocked up on their stuff. Gas, blankets in the car, just in case you get stranded. You know, just your your your, your normal precautions you should take.
And that's so true, because I can remember whenever, just put a little pink up there. My, I can remember when the 18-wheeler hit me, it was in February. Oh my God, that was one of the, that morning, it was so cold. And while I was waiting on the authorities to get there, and the ambulance that came by, God is good, because that ambulance is already on, it, 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 the ambulance just happened to be on the highway when it happened, and they pulled right on over. And took some of my vitals and make sure, you know, they felt my spine and all that. And I thought, that's, uh, can I get that on documentation? The Lord is good and honey, and I didn't even get charged for that. Sure didn't. You did me a once over right there and the, right there. So that's favor. Because let me tell you something. Most of the time... When um, when you have to call the ambulance or something like that to come check you out, honey, that's automatic five hundred dollar or more. But you know, I guess they can do that. And it it was real quick. It wasn't nothing like nothing elaborate and all that. It was just you know, hey, I saw the accident. He immediately, the driver of the ambulance immediately pulled over there for us and said, ma'am, just, you know, we saw the accident. We just want to make sure you're okay. And like I said, I tell the Lord, thank you. You know, things, things just happen in life. Um, again, I've been talking here lately about the little small town. And, and like I said, it may happen in other bigger metropolises too, but um, but you know that that's just I, I, like I said. I love living in. I love the fact that I live in a small town because the hospitality, you know, is is is, is great. I love it. And um, again, I'm not knocking anywhere else, anybody else. I'm just telling you my experience. Um, people are very attentive. Some now, yeah, y'all know how there's always a goober in there, aren't? Isn't there? There's always a goober. But anyway, y'all, I just want to chit-chat with y'all, keeping everybody in prayer with the holidays and, again, do what you can, whatever you can't do. <laughs> get what you can get. If you can't, don't sweat it. Don't feel guilty about it. We were talking about that the other day at work. You know, some people, they were so poor, honey. All they got was a, a, a apple and an orange in a bag, in a bag, honey. That was their Christmas. Uh, was a um, some fruit. And if, if that's all you can do for your family, let me tell you something. Your job as parents, as loved ones, is to make sure that your children have shelter and feed and, and are fed, nourished. And there's some, let me tell you something, there's some families, they wait till after Christmas to do their Christmas shopping for their children, because that's when stuff is marked way low, people returning stuff, and you get good deals on that. So a lot of people will shop after Christmas, because they figure, you know what, I got to make sure the bills are paid, and whatever we have left over. Yes, a lot of people do that, and they shop, they Christmas, they do Christmas after Christmas, if you will. So anyway, let me go get, get my clothes on. I don't have a clue what I'm going to wear. But anyway, love y'all. I know this was long. Just a chit-chatty, almost chit-chatty get ready with me. And um, wipe this off. Got my jewelry cloth. This old. I need to get another one. And um, 
I'll probably hop back on over the weekend so y'all can see what's going on with your girl. But anyway, um, y'all stay safe out there. Stay warm. Weeze in winter, y'all. Even before the first day of winter. <laughs> Weeze in winter. But anyway, I love y'all so much. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye. Hey, y'all. I just checked my mail from uh, the hospital. Just so y'all can see that from um my mammogram and i just wanted to share with you the importance of getting a mammogram anyway uh it says oh, thank you father god dear tanya we are pleased to inform you that the results for your recent breast examining uh imaging examination mammogram digital screening with tomo bilateral with cad on 12-3 show no suspicious findings for breast cancer thank you father god and look i don't take this lightly i have never had breast cancer but i have had friends but i tell the lord thank you i never take it for granted because from year to year anything can happen but i tell god thank you thank you thank you that all uh, everything all is well and again i just lift up all people their families their friends their loved ones again sassy snacks lifting her up because she has pancreatic ca uh, cancer and i've spoken about her on my eating channel because she was one of the first persons i started watching in the asr community but again i just want to lift everybody up in prayer that is going through have gone through personally any type of cancer I, I, we bind cancer. I hate it. it it's, a hor it's a horrible thing to see a friend or a loved one go through that process. But anyway, we just lift anybody going through this horrible, horrible disease. Um, and we just pray that the Lord continue to give them the strength, their family the strength, their caregivers the strength to endure as they go through this process. But anyway, again, I just wanted to tell the lord thank you hallelujah hallelujah another year amen amen so anyway i just wanted to pop back in and say that love you god bless now it's time to go to work and we'll be back at the weekend after we knock out these eight to nine hours love y'all again god bless and may the peace be with you and be in good health because it is god's will that you be in health and you prosper amen bye y'all